Good evening, Facebook friends and family. I am Timothy Reddick, and I am here today with our fifth day of the motivational blog, 30 for 30. Our subject matter for the month of February is decisions and choices. Our topic for today is what is your why? What is it that's going to help you lie, cheat, steal your way to the top? Well, okay, pause. What do you mean, Tim? See, what I'm saying is this. What will keep you lying awake at night, contemplating the future, envisioning your success? What will make you cheat time away from the people that love you the most? What will cause you to steal every nugget, every quote, every inspiration that you can possibly get your hand on to keep you moving forward? What is your why? See, when you figure your why out, then there's nothing that will stop you. There will be no more excuses. See, I heard a man once say, and I wish I could quote him by name, but I can't. But what that man said was detrimental to life. And that's the reason I'm on the quest that I'm on to help as many people as I can possibly help. But what he said was, is when you want to succeed as much as you want your next breath, then, then you will succeed. See, it was my mentor and good friend, Jeffrey David Gamble, who said, you either plan on eating nutritiously or you plan on medicating. You see, it was John C. Maxwell who said, if you wouldn't follow you, why should anyone else? See, it was, it was Jim Rome who said, discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. So why did they say these things? Why, why do those that are already successful say things like that? Because, see, it's very important to drive home the point. You have to figure out why you're doing anything at any given day, at any given time. See, it's those people who fail to plan that fail because they didn't plan. Too many people have a wishbone. Not enough people have a backbone. It, are those, it is those people who stand up to be accounted for. It is those people who stand up and say, I will commit myself to something bigger than myself. So you have to get you out of the way. You have to put the larger picture in front. There has to be a purpose. What's your why? Dig deep. Oh, well, I want a bigger house. Okay, great. Why do you want a bigger house? Okay, I want a nicer car. Okay, great. Why do you want a nicer car? Okay, I want to retire my wife so she doesn't have to work. But why? Does she want to be retired? Does she want to not work? Have you asked those questions? Why? 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 Why does anyone do anything? My name is Timothy Reddick. This is day five. I challenge you to figure out your why. And I promise you, once you do, there will be no turning back. There will be no st stopping you. To the top, I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to meeting you. I, I look forward to shaking your hand. I hope this helps in, in the smallest way. Thank you. Be blessed. Stand up and be accounted for.